guys! Welcome to Avery's five month update! I cannot believe that Avery is one month away from being half a year old. She's just getting so big. Just like a little asterisk here. She is a couple of weeks into being five months. My four month update was like so delayed, so I had to delay this update a little more. But I have wrote down notes from when she just turned five months old, so I'll just go off of those. Avery is now 14 pounds. When I weighed her myself, because we don't go to the pediatrician this month, we go next month, it said 14.9 pounds. So she is getting so, so big. And then I don't know how tall she is. So, But I'll have those updated stats um, during her six month update for you. Avery has really started to chunk up. I've noticed under her chin, she's kind of got the double chin going on, on her um, thighs and legs, she's starting to get some rolls. Um, I've had to give her baths more often because she's got more creases in her rolls and they collect a lot of gunk. If I don't bathe her often enough, then they get kind of smelly. So I have noticed her getting chunky there. Avery has started to reach out and grab things. She loves, still loves her kick play piano that where she lays on her back and then there's just like a arch above her and there's like dangling toys hanging from it and she'll reach out and whack them she'll reach out and grab them her favorite things lately to grab have been my hair because it's kind of long and she also loves to grab onto shirts she does that specifically with anthony probably because he doesn't have long enough hair to grab she also loves um, chewing on her hands and fingers, as you can see. She has become such a drool monster lately. I'm wondering if she's starting to teethe a little bit. The other day, she was just so, so sad. Could not do anything to make her feel better, and that's not like Avery. She is still such a happy baby. The only time she really fusses is if she's hungry or tired, but at this particular point a couple maybe it was about a week ago we had fed her she had just woken up could not understand why she was so sad um, and then we made the decision to give her a little bit of Tylenol and after a couple minutes of that working in her system she seemed to be happier and you guys her shirt down the front was just soaked with spit because she had been drooling so much so I think she started to teeth a little bit I have been feeling around in her mouth I have not felt any teeth but maybe she's just in that really early stages of teething but she does love to gnaw on her hands and fingers also sometimes she gnaws on her fingers a little too much and she gags herself because she'll stick her fingers all the way down her throat and then she like spits up the other day I was giving the boys a bath in the bathtub and I had her laying down in the hallway right behind me so I could watch her but then also like wash the boys hair and I was washing the boys hair heard her start to gag herself turned around and by then it was too late she had like spit up all over the carpet I was like, Avery, for real? So yeah, that's what I've been dealing with. One of Avery's very favorite things to do is to see her reflection in the mirror. <laughs> if you've seen some of my other vlogs prior to this one, I've included a clip or two of her doing that. She loves it. I'll bring her into the mirror and I'll start like smiling and cooing at her and she just lights up and smiles so big. She loves looking at herself in the mirror and her little kick play piano has a little dangling mirror where she can see herself in and she loves looking at it it's super cute Avery loves smiling she smiles all the time it's very easy to get her to smile however as of five months we have still not gotten a laugh out of her we've been so so close I've gotten like maybe a little chuckle here or there but i don't know if i constitute that as a laugh definitely not a belly laugh so we are still trying our hardest to get her to laugh she's definitely ticklish but every time i tickle like her thighs she just like doesn't know what to do um she loves having her nose booped and she will like smile huge for that and almost chuckle or she likes it when i rub my nose up against her nose that gets her super close, but we cannot get her to laugh. And it's so frustrating. I just want to hear that cute little laugh that I know she has. This month, one of the newest things that happened with Avery is we introduced baby cereal for her. And she hates it. Well, so 
she hated it at first. If you've seen, I think it was the video right before this one or a couple before this one, I inputted videos. When I first started giving Avery baby cereal, she screamed and cried the entire time. Now, when I started giving my boys the cereal, I start off with the rice cereal, which is like bland, no flavor. And they both didn't like it either, but not to the point of like screaming, crying while I'm feeding it to them. It was just to the point of like they would spit it out mostly, but they weren't crying. She spit and cry, hated it. And then after me consistently doing it for maybe about like a week, finally she's gotten better with it and will eat it. And at first I had to make it super soupy for her because she would like gag on it if it was too chunky. And now I've been able to leave it a little chunkier and she tolerates it pretty well. So, so far we've only done the rice cereal. I am still working our way up to, next we'll do oatmeal. And then starting at six months, I will start introducing purees of vegetables and fruits for her. So I'm not sure um, why she was hating the cereal so much. Um, Anthony was saying it's just like trying to get her to take the bottle. She just doesn't like change, which I don't like change. So maybe she's very similar to me. Um, it could also be a texture thing. I have a texture problem. Like I cannot eat certain foods because of the texture. So maybe she's kind of got that too. Not quite sure, um, but we'll see how she does once we start introducing more foods. That will start next month when she turns six months. But yeah, the cereal, she's not that big of a fan. Um, doesn't help that like I still don't have a high chair for her. We used to have one that I used for both the boys and I absolutely hated it. I hated that high chair. So I got rid of it. And then we found out we were pregnant with her and I was like, oh, I'll just get one eventually. We ended up getting a high chair that like just clips on to the side of the table, but I actually really don't like it. And so I'm gonna get like the Ikea high chair, which I've heard really good things about. Um, I just haven't bought it yet, but it's like 20 bucks. So I just need to go ahead and buy it. So right now to feed her, I've just been feeding her in her car seat, which if you know Avery, she still hates being in the car seat. So that probably doesn't help her um, cereal eating experience. If you've seen, um, Avery loves to stand up, although she cannot like bear any weight on her legs, so her legs buckle all the time, but she loves trying to stand and it's super cute. The four month sleep regression has kind of hit Avery. Um, as of now, well, this is about almost halfway. Tomorrow will be halfway into being five months. Um, she has been taking really short naps. So her naps have been very inconsistent. Some days she takes long ones that are two, two and a half hours. And some days like today, she'll take 45 minute naps. So her naps have been inconsistent. And then also her sleeping at night has been inconsistent up until like four and a half months. She was sleeping through the night, like starting at like a month maybe and um, consistently sleeping through the night. Then I think the four month sleep regression happened and so then she would start waking up at 5 a.m. and then that 5 a.m. turned into 3 a.m. It was only once, but still. And now lately it's turned into 6, 6.30 a.m. of I need a snack and then she'll go back to sleep. And then her naps are all over the place. Typically she takes about three naps a day though, two, usually long ones uh during the day one in the morning and one in the afternoon and then she might take like a short 30 45 minute nap in the evening right before six we always make sure to get her up by six so then she goes to bed about 7 30. but if she doesn't take a last nap then we put her down at like 6 30. so it all just kind of depends she's not really on a schedule yet i'm just kind of going when she wants when she's tired, when she shows me the cues, which is her rubbing her eyes or just being fussy. Avery is still a pretty quiet baby. Every day she seems to get a little more talkative, a little more, she, right now she'll go, so that's kind of the noises that she makes right now. Usually she's pretty quiet. She'll just lay there, doesn't say anything. She'll wake up from naps. I won't know that she's awake because she'll just be laying in her crib just perfectly happy and I have to like turn on the monitor and actually look at her, which is so not like my boys because my boys, whenever they were up from their naps, they let me know almost immediately. But she is just happy to just lay there and not say anything. So she's just kind of different in that way. In addition to playing with the kick piano, Avery loves laying on her back and watching ceiling fans. She thinks those are pretty fun. She also loves to do um, 
weird little motions with her mouth. I think she's just starting to like figure out the different way she can manipulate her tongue and her lips. And so it's fun um, seeing those different um, way she moves her mouth, as you can see. <laughs> a lot of it's like, she looks like a mime because she makes movements, but no sound comes out, so it's kind of funny. <laughs> Avery is rolling a lot better now and doing tummy time a lot better. So with tummy time, she hated it, and she's actually tolerating it now. Beforehand, I would put her on her belly and she really wouldn't push up at all. Now, she will actually push up on her um, hands and lock her elbows straight and actually like lift her, her chest up pretty good. And she'll kick her back legs, like she's trying to get the motion of crawling, but not anywhere near crawling yet. She does scoot in a circle, like I said before. She does scoot around, I'll lay her one direction and then she'll turn herself any which way she wants to go. But she does not move forward or backward or anything like that yet. But her rolling has gotten a lot better. I'll put her on her belly and almost immediately she'll flip over to her back or she'll be on her back and she'll flip to her belly. I also think that has um, kind of added to her poor sleeping because a lot of times when she wakes up early from a nap or in the middle of the night, it's because she's flipped onto her belly and then she kind of gets stuck there and forgets how to flip back over and then I have to go and soothe her. Unlike um, my first two, Grayson and Porter, Avery is a back sleeper. So as for my boys, as soon as they were able to figure out how to roll back to belly and belly to back, they would sleep consistently on their belly. But Avery consistently sleeps on her back. She is a back sleeper and she's so cute. Um, I'll input a picture here. She will just lay with her arms like spread out. She loves not being swaddled with her arms anymore, although I do still swaddle her midsection. Um, but she is a back sleeper, which is funny. And I used to be a back sleeper until I got pregnant. And then once you're pregnant, you have to sleep on your side. And ever since then, I've been a side sleeper. But my boys are both still belly sleepers. Um, but Avery seems like she's gonna be a back sleeper. Avery loves watching her brothers. She loves watching them be crazy. Um, they're entertainment for her. They help me feed her, like hold the bottle so I can go run and do something for them. Um, they love to sing to her. Um, as she gets more mobile, they become more interested in her, which is fun to see, and she loves watching them. Another big thing um, going on with Avery this month is we went to a specialist uh, about her head shape so if you haven't watched my videos go ahead and watch them about Avery's head shape concerns but basically we went to the pediatrician uh, for her four month pediatrician visit and the pediatrician noticed that her head shape kind of looked a little funny which we've noticed that too go watch my videos I talk more about it how it's basically been like that from the beginning so we went and saw a specialist and they have indeed recommended that Avery wear a helmet to help out with her head shape. Um, I don't know if you can really see it on this video. It's really hard to see it unless you're kind of in person. Um, but her head is um, flat a little bit on the back and on the sides. Um, basically, it started from in utero, how she was in me, and it just never got better. And now she's preferred a side on the back and um, just sleeps on that and makes it worse. So they have recommended we put her in a helmet. And so in two days from now, she will be getting that helmet and we will wear it for about nine to 10 weeks, which is about three months. So we will vlog that whole journey for you guys. So stay tuned to our channel and we will see how she does with it. And hopefully it does help her head shape. They say it's nothing, no concerns with her brain function or anything like that. But it's more of she might not, she might have a hard time wearing glasses because her head might be crooked. Um, they said half of her ear and half of her jaw on one side of her face are more forward than the other side of her face. They said if she wants to wear hats, it might be hard to wear a hat or a headband. Or she might have crossbite or dental issues with her head being the shape that it is. So we're just going to go ahead and um, get it fixed and round out her head for her. It's a uh, non-invasive there's no surgical procedures. She just wears a helmet. It puts pressure on the areas that are already rounded and fine and leaves space open for the areas that need to be more rounded and the head will just naturally grow to be round. So that is what we have coming up in a couple days. So make sure to follow our channel 
so you can see all about Avery with her, um, they call it plagiocephaly. I have had no experience in this before, so I am learning at the same time as you guys are about this um, condition that actually one in four babies have. Actually one in two babies have some sort of it, um, and then one in four actually have it severe enough that they need to have something done about it. So we just got lucky and Avery is the one in four. So. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this vlog. Avery seems to be getting fussy. I think I need to change her diaper and she's probably getting hungry. So thank you so much for watching our video. Okay, say bye. Say bye bye. Say this is me at five months. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mm. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.